Here we are at Island Miniature Schnauzers. And we're outside with Daddy, Wolfie, and Cooper. And we're just, <laughs> look at him. Yeah, he's a good boy. Wolfie is our senior training dog and uh, one of our main studs. And we're getting everything ready because we're going to be getting our house painted this week. So everything is pulled away from the ha house and everything's sort of upside down right now. Right, Daddy? You betcha. Inside <laughs> you betcha. out. Inside out. <laughs> All inside out. Yeah. yeah. So I've been working all day on this. Gary's been working all day and all around the house, getting everything away from it. The house is going to be forest green and white. So we're pretty excited about that. Look at Wolfie and Daddy. And where's Mr. Cooper? Now, Mr. Cooper, Cooper, this is the first time that Cooper's been out with Wolfgang. Mr. Cooper, he's a stock <laughs> Yeah, so he's Mr. a little bit unsure because Wolfgang is the largest of our dogs. And he is very alpha, but he's very fair. So, and Wolfgang is a stud and Mr. Cooper is neutered. So that should be no problem. I'm just building um, uh, acquaintances with Cooper so that I can start putting him out with a pack of inside dogs. But everything you do, folks, when you train, you do it a little bit at a time. He's a little bit unsure, Daddy, so don't take it personally. Uh-uh, not allowed to do that. If he did that, you say you quit that. No more. Okay, two more. That's right. We haven't started working on the um, interrelation skills yet. Cooper? Look at the, look at the eyelashes on him. Come here, I'll get down here. Come in, let's show your eyelashes. Okay. I don't know if you can see them or not. Cooper? Cooper? Come and show your eyelashes. Come here. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Come here to see we can see your eyelashes. Look at this. Look at the eyelashes, folks. A dream for a woman. Look at the eyelashes. Are you sure they're not false ones? <laughs> yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. So we haven't started working on any behavioral um, challenges. We're just getting him used to being um, joined up with me. So we're just making it really easy. Yeah, and he's getting introduced to lots of doggies. So lots of noises, different barkings, everything like that. He's a little bit unsure, so you'll notice that his tail isn't over his back. He's a little bit unsure about this. But the backyard hasn't looked like this before. Like, we have everything all in a heap. So, you know, it looks way different than it usually does. <laughs> right, Daddy? Oh, I hear you. <laughs> But he's doing really well. He goes outside now off leash. He's been doing this. This is, his, I guess, his first day doing it. But he's just becoming very trustworthy. Hello, sweetheart. You sit down. And let's see. Here's Wolfie. Wolfie. Yeah. It's okay. Trust. Trust. Yep. Trust. That's okay. I haven't worked on that yet. That's a good boy. He says, I don't really know daddy. Well, you, daddy was the first daddy, your first daddy. He helped you being born. Yeah, I popped you up, kid. <laughs> he popped him out. <laughs> a hug, a tongue, and a pull. Yeah. He's a honey baby. I don't know if you know honey. She's a... Uh, she's very much uh, same color as Cooper, okay. and she lives up in number one with Silverton. He's gonna, she's gonna be bred with Silverton. Oh. I think that's where Honey is. Oh, yeah, I'm fairly Eight certain. Wow, isn't he something? Isn't he something? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Isn't he something? Yeah, Cooper. <laughs> so we're gonna go for a walk. You want to go for a walk, Cooper? Go for a walk. Ugh. Get up here. That's always easy to get down. Hard to get up. Okay, kids, let's go. Wolfie, let's go. Let's go with Mr. Cooper. Okay, thank you, Daddy. We're going for a walk about. He's bigger than Wolfie. No. Taller. Is he taller? He looks like he's heavier, too. Maybe. 
Well, he comes from um, uh, Texacano, and he's a big, big schnauzer. Okay, off we go, Daddy. I tell you, he's, I think he's got a pound or so on top of him. Yeah, and he's just still very young, too. Yeah, well, it's cleaner here now. <laughs> yeah, it's cleaner. Come on, Cooper, let's go. That's a good boy. There's your tail up now. Yep. That's right. So, folks, I'm just, he's now been with four of our inside dogs. And then tomorrow, um, what we'll do is, because Deb and um, Ray are coming over tomorrow for a few hours, so we'll put him out with a pack of three dogs. And then I'll have assistance in filming. Uh, because once he gets used to being in the, with pack of dogs and he's being very respectful, then I can start taking him up in the forest with pack number one, pack number two, and pack number three. And then the packs start training him in what is a correct uh, behavior. I use my packs to train uh, doggies that come in for training. And they'll tell the new doggy what is correct and what's not correct. That was pretty cool. Okay, come on this way, you guys. <clears throat> so we we worked all day today, Gary and I, and because the painter is coming in two days' time to paint all our concrete and then paint. Um, we moved everything from underneath here, and everything is going to be forest green and white so <clears throat> it's going quite a project and let me just see if i can back up a little bit and show you what i mean see that that used to be blue that house when we got this house everything was blue 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 so it's faded and it looks like gray now but it used to be blue i mean yikes why would somebody paint everything blue in their house I guess it back then, it was probably about 30 years ago, I guess that was the color, right? Yikes. So, you see how the forest is all around us, of course. So I'm thinking forest green and white will just be real pretty. Real pretty. So that's what we were doing today. Keep us out of mischief a bit. And all this will be painted. You know, how it'd be power washed and then painted and yeah so onwards and forwards so there you go i better go watch what the kids are doing oh i just saw cooper running around so we have another training ring down here so oh there's wolfie and i just saw Co there's cooper so i'm gonna call them up because <clears throat> on the third plateau, a rabbits live, and we don't want the dogs to run after the rabbits because when you get a schnauzer running after a rabbit, you sort of lose all control. So I'm going to go get the kids. So thank you very much. Very mu thank you very much for watching. And this is for everyone as well as Cooper's mamas and papas, mama and papa, and his um, and their son. So just to show you that things are progressing very, very well. Very happy with everything. And I've got him now, so he's listening to me. So I'll start getting serious about the training. Oh, hi, Cooper. Hi, sweetheart. So let's go inside. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Let's go. <clears throat> so we're going to go. Cooper lives downstairs. Come on, Cooper. Let's go. <clears throat> Cooper, come, no, no, here, come, here, good, good, okay, let's go, inside, let's go, there you go, there's Cooper, there's the puppies here, hi puppies, these are the kids that are staying at the farm, yep, so Cooper, I have a new carrier for you, nice new Betty, everything, so let's see if we can get that rolling, Cooper, in. Good boy. Nighty night. Nighty night, hon. Say good night to your parents. Night night. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. And 
We'll tune in tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. All the best.